And in 2015, we have kind of ran out of ideas, especially when it, when it comes to women's brain health, because what most people don't realize is that um, Alzheimer's disease affects more women than men. So almost two thirds of all Alzheimer's patients are women, particularly postmenopausal women. And this was my question, even for my PhD, at the very beginning of my career. And back then, people would say to me, well, yes, we've known since 1994 that after aging and getting older itself, being a woman is the most significant risk factor for developing dementia. However, the explanation back then was that women live longer than men and Alzheimer's is a disease of old age. Therefore, at the end of the day, more women than men have Alzheimer's disease. And that never made sense to me, in part because I have a family history of Alzheimer's disease that runs in my family, obviously, and affects the women in my family. And I know that this is very common where your grandmother has Alzheimer's or dementia. And for me, it was my grandmother and her two sisters who all developed Alzheimer's disease and died of it. But their brother, who lived exactly to the same age, did not. And so my PhD thesis actually was to show that Alzheimer's disease is not a disease of old age. It's actually a disease of midlife with symptoms that start in old age. So what happens is that Alzheimer's starts in the brain with negative changes that take years to reach a certain threshold before the damage is so severe that people start losing their memories, they can't come up with words, they have attention deficits. But in reality, Alzheimer's starts for many people in midlife. So that changed my entire question. Right then the question becomes, okay, if Alzheimer's starts in midlife and more women than men end up with Alzheimer's disease, what happens to women and not men in midlife that could potentially explain the higher lifetime risk of Alzheimer's disease for women? And look, we tried everything. We tried genetics. We looked at medical factors. We looked at diabetes. We looked at high cholesterol levels. We looked at insulin resistance. We looked at obesity. We looked at every single thing we could look at, diet, lifestyle, exercise, and those things certainly matter. 